Hello everyone. In this video, we will be writing exponential equation of the form y equals a b raised to the power x plus k given two points. And this is the second part. In this part, we're going to use logarithms to determine the exponential equation. Let's go over this example right here. Determine the equation of the form y equals a b raised to the power x plus k of the graph that passes through the points 2, 13, and 7, 4,369 with a horizontal asymptote of y is equal to negative 5. There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can determine the equation of the graph that passes these two points. The first step is to write the general equation of the form y equals a b raised to the power x plus k. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this as step one right here. We can go ahead and say that the general equation is y equals a b raised to the power x. Now please remember that this horizontal asymptote that we have right here, y is equal to negative five. That's the one that we plugged into k. So this becomes a minus 5. Now, please remember that if this was a positive 5, then this would have been a plus 5. So that's the first step. Now we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step states that using the two given points, plug in the values for x and y into the equation from step 1 and solve for a. So we're going to uh, label this as f2 right here. So that's the second step. So we're going to use this two points that we have here. So we're going to have the first one, which is 2 and um, 13. So then we go ahead and remember that this ordered pair that we have here, this first number stands for the x, and the second one is for the y. So then we go ahead and plug this x and y into this equation right here, which is y equals a b raised to the power x minus 5. So plugging in the uh, y and the x, this comes out 13 is equal to a b raised to the power 2 minus 5. Since we want to solve for a in this step, we're supposed to add 5 to both sides. So that's plus 5 and plus 5 here. So we can cross the 5 out. We are left with 18 is equal to a b squared. Again, we're supposed to solve for a. So we, we have to isolate a by itself. We can do that by dividing both sides by b squared. Divide this by b squared so we can cross the b squared out. So the a equation that we have using the first point would be 18 over b squared. And what we do next is we use the same method that we did right here. But this time around, we are using the second point, 7, 4,369. So I'm going to show the work right here. Okay, so using the second point, I got the A, which is 4,374 over B to the seventh power. Now, after we're done with the second step, we're ready to move on to the third step. The third step states that using the equation from step to use equal values method to solve for b. So we are going to use this um, two equations that we have right here for a, since both of them are equal to a, so we can go ahead and equal them to each other, and we can go ahead and solve for b. So this is how it's going to look like. So I'm going to write step three right here. So these two are going to be equal to each other. So this uh, right side of the um, equation, so this would be 18 over b squared is actually equal to 4,374 over b to the seventh. Again, that is based on equal values method. Since both of them are equal to a, so then these two are also equal to each other. Now, we are supposed to solve for b in this step. Now, we see that b... Um, Variable is located on both sides, so we can take the b on one side. We can do that by multiplying both sides by b to the seventh, and this will be multiplied by b to the seventh. So we can cross this out. We are left with 
18 b to the seventh over b squared and that is equal to 4374 yeah. now we can cross the b's here since we have two b's at the bottom and there are seven b's on top we can cancel all the two b's at the bottom take the two b's from the seven this gives uh this would give us five so then the equation would come out that's gonna be 18 b to the fifth is equal to 4374 we want the b in this step so we're gonna divide both sides by 18 i will divide this by 18 as well so we can cross this out so we are left with b to the fifth is equal to dividing these two this gives out 243 again in this step we're supposed to solve for b okay we can solve for b using logarithms for this so what are we going to do is we we are going to log both sides so this is how it's going to look like so that's going to be log of b to the fifth is equal to log of 243 so what i did was i log both sides so i can um solve for b so please remember that if we have an exponent this becomes the coefficient of the logarithmic expression. So this 5 is going to go to the front. And so our equation would come out 5 log of b is equal to log of 243. Now, what are we going to do next is we want, again, we wanted to solve for um, b. So then I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite that up here. Okay, so what we do so that we can solve for B here is we're dividing both sides by 5. So I'm going to divide this by 5. I will divide this by 5. We can cross the 5 out. So we are left with log of B is equal to, that's going to be um, log of 243 over 5. Now, we remember that if the base is not there, the invisible base is 10 so there is an invisible value of 10 right here that's every time that the base is not written in there the invisible value there is 10. so we are going to change this to its exponential form we remember that we can change this by rewriting this as 10 raised to the power log of 243 over 5 is equal to b this is similar to this rule that we have right here so if we have log of y to the base b is equal to x we can change this to its exponential form b to the exponent x is equal to y so looking at this we can go ahead and rewrite this as that's gonna be um 10 raised to the power so that's the um that's our base raised to the exponent log of 243 over 5 is equal to b so then we already have the b value now using the calculator we can um show the value for this so i will um use the calculator up here so we have 10 raised to the power that's gonna be um, log of 243 divided by 5, close parentheses, that is equal to 3. So our B value right here is equal to 3. So I'm just going to put this inside the box. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the fourth step the fourth step states that we are supposed to solve for a using any of the equations from step two so we can use any of the equations that we have right here in order that we can solve for um a so that we can go ahead and show the work on the side right here to solve for um a so i'm just gonna go ahead and label this as s4 again for step four we can use any of the equations that we have right here from um, step two. So let's use the first equation here. So that is a is equal to 18 over b squared. Again, we solve for b. The b is 3. So that we can go ahead and say that that is actually 18 over. That's going to be 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. This gives us our a actually is 
That's going to be 18 divided by 9. So 18 divided by 9 is 2. So then our A value here is 2. So then I will put this inside the box. So we already have both A and B in this uh, problem. So then we go ahead and move on to the fifth step. The fifth step states that we're supposed to write the equation of the form y equals ab raised to the power x plus k so that we can go ahead and label this part right here as step five. So this is um, step five right here. So in step five, we're going to use the equation y equals ab raised to the power x plus k. Re please remember that the one that we... Um, Plug in only are the values for A, B, and K. So the final equation would come out. Y is equal to our A is 2. Our B is 3. That is raised to the power X. And our K was minus 5. So this is the equation that would um, work for this problem that we have right here. This means that if we graph this equation, it's going to pass through these two points. On the side, we will see the graph of this equation that we have right here. Y equals 2 parentheses 3 raised to the power x minus 5 on decimals. You can see that the horizontal asymptote is on y equals negative 5, which is actually the broken line. And this graph of y equals 2 parentheses 3 raised to the power x minus 5 passes through the points 2, 13, and 7, 4,369. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!